The Sioux College Cougars men's basketball team is continuing preparations for the start of another OCAA season. The Cougars play their home opener on Friday, October 23rd against Mohawk. One of the local players on this year's Cougar squad is Joey Bruni, who played high school basketball at St. Basil's. All right, Joey, uh, you're one of the local players on the Sioux College team. Uh, the season's coming up. Uh, how do you feel about the team and, and the way it's going to uh, play this season? I'm very excited. Uh, practice has been very good. Uh, it's been very competitive. Uh, we're looking to make the playoffs this season. Uh, we've got a good group of guys. Um, everyone's coming together now, and we're ready for the season to start. What type of team will uh, the Cougars have? Is it a pretty talented team? Is it a blend of experience and youth, or are there more older guys? Uh, we still are very young, considering we only have uh, we have second years and first years, maybe one fourth year guy. Um, we do have bigs this year now, compared to last year we didn't have size, but uh, we're still looking to uh, make a force in the league. So, For the people that aren't familiar with the OCAA, how competitive is the league? Uh, there's some pretty good talent in this league, right? Uh, definitely some good talent, the likes of uh, Humber and Mohawk. Uh, we're definitely like against hum uh, Mohawk the first game, we're looking to take them down, um, as well as Humber. Um, if we take them down, everyone will be looking at us as the hierarchy in the league. So. You're opening here uh, very shortly, and uh, this college really likes its basketball. What would it mean to have a full gymnasium for that opening game here? Oh, that would be awesome. It would be surreal just because like, it would bring the energy that we need to just maybe lift this over the top, especially down in the fourth quarter if we're down one or two points. Just to have the energy in the gym would be awesome. One of the many players from out of town on the Cougars basketball team this year is Michael Hepburn, who comes from Toronto. All right, Michael, you're one of the players that's uh, not from Sault Ste. Marie. You come from Toronto. What made you choose Sioux College to play basketball? Well, the reason I came out here and not stayed at home was I wanted to make a name for myself instead of being somewhere where I've already done my dirt. <laughs> so I just thought, you know, I want to be more independent, try new things, get out of my comfort zone. What are your impressions of this team? Uh, can this team be successful this year? We can definitely be, be successful this year. We, we've made a whole new change from last year. Last year we lacked in a lot of things, including height, uh, motivation. This year we, we have the whole package. It's just for us to just want it. How, how are you enjoying Sioux College and Sault Ste. Marie? I like it. I'm I'm a very relaxed guy. Like my friends tell me I'm boring, <laughs> so yeah, I just fit in perfectly. I I get my work done. It's easy to concentrate. The people are very nice, and all around, I love it. They call you boring, but when you score 20 points, they like you a lot, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, they do. Greg Mapp is the head coach of the Cougars basketball team. He's looking forward to a successful season. All right, Greg, another season is quickly approaching. Uh, just give us a general synopsis about the Cougars basketball team, uh, your impressions of it so far. Uh, what type of team are you going to have this year? Well, this is the team that I was hoping I would have in my uh, second year. Uh, you know, we, we tried a couple of times and we didn't get it right with this group. We've got a good group of character guys. Um, led by, we got a local kid, uh, Joey Bruni, who since he walked in here, who has... Um, really helped our program in terms of intensity and we're excited you know we've got about I think it's eight guys we got this year on the team um, and like I said uh, it's exciting given that uh, it's one thing to have the talent but now to have the character to go along with the talent the right attitude these are the guys that um, I only wish I had you know a few years back and I think we're actually on the right move now. I guess it's no different at this level. Uh, the key to success is having the right blend of character and skill, right? And then that's what makes any team successful. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know, um, and you can see it in the work ethic. You know, we've had talent here before, but the work ethic didn't always match or the right attitude at the right times. You know, it's always easy when the going's great, but, you know, the first time you got to criticize a player or, you know, sometimes you sit them down. Everybody wants to play 40 minutes. You get to see how they react. Are they in class all the time? Are they come to practice on time? And this group, we haven't had any problems yet. So I'm really excited to work with this group. They're pretty much all back next year. And uh, it'll be a learning curve for us. But the talent level as well is a lot higher than what we had last year. So it's, it's a really exciting time. The Cougars would love to see a packed gymnasium for their home opener. They're encouraging students, staff, parents, and the general public to jam the gym for their game against Mohawk on October 23rd. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Gino Cavallo.